Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Ahmed and in today's video we're going to go through a couple of guidelines on how to wear your hat after a hair transplant. I get a lot of questions on my channel asking how do you wear your hat after a hair transplant or when can you wear a hat after your hair transplant. So I created a comprehensive guide of 7 tips that should hopefully answer your questions. I went through a second hair transplant recently and I would document the entire journey. If you're interested in checking that out, definitely check my channel out. I have a bunch of videos about it already. So let's get right into it. And waiting for the appropriate time is really important because I know for a fact that everyone's eager to wear a hat after a hair transplant. Even I was, I didn't want to show what happened to my head immediately after to everybody around me, especially to my friends or family. It was definitely something a little daunting, but you always have to wait for the right time before you can put on a hat. Your surgeon will provide you specific instructions on when it's safe again to start wearing a hat. Typically it's recommended to wait at least a week or two after your surgery to let your grafts take hold onto your scalp. I personally waited at least three weeks only because I was a little a more cautious you can do the same as well but if it's really necessary for you to wear a hat two weeks should be fine for you now choosing the right hat is also very important especially after your surgery there are very specific types of hat that you should be wearing opt for a hat that gives you ample room and doesn't put a lot of pressure on your scalp look for hats with loose fits adjustable straps or even snapbacks that allow you to customize the size There's a variety of different types of hat you can wear, but there are a bunch of ones that are recommended after a hair transplant. One being the bucket hat. Now this particular hat was provided by the clinic, which is considered a surgical type of hat, but it does give you the room and space that you need when you wear it right after a hair transplant. Your scalp would generally be up to here, but you have a little breathing space up here so that the hat does not touch your transplanted grafts. And of course, I'll definitely show you what it looks like. There you go. It's not ideal, it does not look great, but it's kind of what you're gonna to have to do, especially for the first two weeks, if you wanna wear a hat without worrying about your transplanted grafts. It's not that bad actually, but not my style. Baseball caps are actually my more preferred type of hat to wear in general. One, I think it looks good, but also they're pretty known for having a structured fit, which means that they already have a default shape that does not hug your scalp as much as a non-structured fit would. It is also a one-size-fits-all hat with a cotton and acrylic material. The back of the hat is also another important part when you are choosing your hat to wear. These types of hats already have a shape, as I mentioned before, but they also allow you to not touch the transplanted areas on your head regardless of how it's placed. Because I got my hair transplant in the crown this time around, I make sure nothing touches the back. So when I'm placing it on, it's literally just touching the sides of my donor hair. Nothing at the back is actually touching my transplanted areas. There's a little space here too. See? Mm -hmm. If you had a transplant at the front of your hairline, same exact thing, I would probably put this even further back so that it's not touching your hairline at all or even your mid-scalp, just like that. So there are definitely little different ways to be placing your hat onto your head, but based off your own personal situation, you can wear it accordingly. And also now it's been, it's been over a month and a half for me, so I can actually place this down even further if I wanted to but I'm still very cautious so I don't put it down too low and I keep it up at all times. These are really good as well because they have a strong frontal situation on the hat whereby it's going to stay up anyway so the entire front part of your cap is also not breathing onto your head. Now there are other hats that you probably shouldn't wear like this type of baseball cap but there's no type of support in it so if I were to wear this hat this hat would be much more closer to my head and hugging my scalp much more intently, which is not what I want, especially after a hair transplant. I could wear this now because it's been like a month and a half, so I'm not too scared about it. But for you personally, I would not recommend wearing something that's tighter onto your scalp. I have a bunch of hat recommendations that I would personally wear. I'll leave those in the link in the description below. If you're interested, definitely check them out. Some are recommended to wear after a hair transplant and some are just really good styles to wear. So definitely check them out. Now it's really important for your hat to be clean before you wear it onto your head. Wash it regularly to prevent a buildup of dirt, oils, or even bacteria that could potentially cause infections or irritations to your scalp and your donor area. Trust me, the last thing you want is a dirty hat on your head. For one, it's also gonna get super itchy, so it's, it's best to make sure, make sure it's clean. It's always clean. It should be clean, it's not clean. 
something's going on. Just, just wash your hands or buy a new one. When you're wearing a hat, be gentle and avoid any rubbing or friction against the transplanted area. Friction can dislodge grafts or cause damage to the healing scalp. Make sure the hat is not too tight or snug as it can exert pressure on the grafts and hinder the healing process. Although some of us don't even think about it, having the right material for your hats is also really important. Opt for hats that have more breathable fabrics like cotton or moisture wicking materials. This allows air circulation and reduces the risk of excessive swelling which can irritate the scalp. One thing I quickly learned about wearing a hat was that it does get very itchy after some time, so it is important to take breaks every now and then. If you can, remove your cap whenever it's possible. Give your head that little breathing space because I'm telling you now, it's going to be itchy every time you wear it. Taking breaks also help prevent excessive sweating and moisture buildup, as well as relieve any pressure that is being put onto your head and transplanted area from the hat. Okay, so I think that's really about it for what I wanted to go through today. A couple of guidelines and tips about wearing a hat after a hair transplant. Hopefully that gave you some insights and some value in any way. If you did, do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I also give one-on-one -on -one hair consultation services to anybody who is looking to get a hair transplant or someone who has already gotten one. I'm really happy to help out as many as you guys as I can. Please do consider booking your time with me if you haven't already. If that's something you're looking for, link is in the description below. Don't forget to leave a comment. I try to respond as much as I can. So please, if you have anything you want to say, let me know. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.